Welcome to another training session. In this session, we will learn how we can connect and control the stepper motor with the FATEC PLC. Before starting, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more video tutorials. First of all, let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. We have a linear axis with stepper motor. We have a stepper driver to control the stepper motor. And next we have a FedEx PLC. First of all, we will connect the 24 volt DC power supply lines to the stepper driver. Next, we will connect the stepper motor wires to the driver. Please refer to the wiring diagram of the stepper drive and stepper motor before connecting. Next, we will connect the negative terminal of the 24 volt output of the PLC to the common terminal for the outputs. As we are going to send the negative voltage signals or pulses to the stepper driver. Next, we will connect Y0 to the pulse input terminal of the stepper driver and Y1 to the direction input of the stepper driver input terminal. Next, we will loop all positive input terminals of the stepper driver and connect these to the 24 volt positive output of the PLC supply. Now the wiring is completed. We will open the PLC software to make the program. We will create the new project and select the PLC model which we are using. We can give it any name and click OK button. First of all, we will click at the end of the network and click on the function button. Here we will write 140 and click OK. This open HSPSO function. This function will be used to generate high frequency output pulses to control stepper or servo motors. In the PS, we will enter 0. This enable Y0 output of the PLC to generate pulses and Y1 output to control the direction of the stepper motor. In SR, we will enter R100 data register. SR is the starting register for the positioning control program. Next in the WR, we will enter R500 data register. WR is a working register for this instruction or function. Next, we will use the normal open contact of the M0 bit to enable this function. Similarly, we will use the M1 and M2 instruction to pause and abort this function in the middle of execution. Next, we will use some output coils to indicate active, error and done status of this function. Next, we will click on this icon and create a new servo table. We can give this table a name as stepper table. In the starting address, we will enter our 100 data register. As we have used the same register in HSPSO function, this function will take the positioning data from this through this R100 data register. Next, we will click on the Add button. Here, we will enter the speed of the output pulses. We will enter 20,000. Next, we will select here plus sign. Means that the motor will travel in the forward or clockwise direction. Next, we will select the PS, which means the output pulses. Next, we will enter the 3000 output pulses. This means that the function will generate 3000 pulses at 20,000 speed in the clockwise direction. Next, we will enter 5000 in the wait time. This creates a delay of 5 seconds after the function execution. From the go to menu, we will select next by this way the function will go to the next positioning step to add a next positioning step we will click on the add button we will keep all settings same as previous step except direction 
we will select the negative sign. This means that the motor will run in the reverse direction. Next, we will enter one second delay in the wait time. We will select end from the go to menu. This means that the function will stop execution after this step. Next, we will open the IO configuration menu and go to the output setup menu. Here in the HSPSO menu, we will select Y0 as pulse and Y1 as direction and click OK. Now the programming is completed. We will download the program in the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. And see that as we turn on the M0 bit, the stepper motor travels 3000 pulses in the forward direction. And after the 5 second delay, it again comes back. It travels in the backward direction for the 3000 pulses. So this is how we can program and choose the stepper motor using the FedEx PLC. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Till next time, take care and goodbye.